Let, let him finish. Answer, let him finish. Uh, yes. Mr. Simpofu going to do all the talking. Mm. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Give your answer. You don't have to be arrogant, I Mr. Kotan. You don't have to be arrogant. I'm not going to do all the talking. You are the one who's being cross-examined, so you'll do the talking. To change your statement to the commission to reflect that you did meet with the Guptas, correct? Yes, on the uh, reminder that I received from my then Chief of Staff, who currently is the DG of the Treasury, Mr. Makhujani. Yes, so you, like, like Mr. Nene before you, you had forgotten, quote unquote, that you had met with the Guptas, correct? I'm not interested in any analogies. Okay, that's fine, forget the analogy. You had, quote unquote, forgotten that you had met with the Guptas a number of times, correct? There's no quote unquote as far as I'm concerned. I did not remember, I was reminded, and I frankly disclosed that in Parliament subsequently uh, and to the Commission when I had the opportunity. No, Mr. Kotan. There's no quote or unquote forgotten. Okay, no, let's just be serious for a minute. It's for emphasis. No, that's fine. Let's be, you answered the question of the DA and you said you didn't meet with the Guptas, correct? Well, I can't remember the precise formulation of the question. Yes, but you denied. I'm not interested in the precise uh, formulation. Uh, 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 during lunch time. I'm, I'm, so, I'm uh, sorry. I'm can so, you uh, just, uh, Chairperson? Yes. Uh, I do require some guidance from you. Yeah. If you could reflect on this, please. When I am answering a question, yeah, no, no, no. Be given the opportunity. No, no, no. To I, I, not be interrupted. No, no. I was, I was, uh, <laughs> I, I was about to say, Mr. Pofu must let you finish your answer. With, with respect, uh, one sometimes doesn't know where what Mr. Pofu really wants an answer to, because he starts by saying Mr. Boyani is willing to give evidence and he ends somewhere else. So if he could crystallize his questions better, it would make it easier to answer them. Thank you. Okay, okay. Uh, let, 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 let's, let's do our best. Okay. Yeah, no, <laughs> let's thank do you. our best. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Kotan, okay. for trying to teach me how to ask you questions. I note what you say. Do you agree or do you not agree? If you... I'm not a lawyer, so I'm not going to agree or disagree. I note what you say. You don't know the importance of taking the oath before God? I affirmed right at the beginning of this... Uh, Proceedings, Chairperson. I'm not sure what Mr. Mpofu is pursuing here. Okay. I'm saying that if if you I go around. What else does Mr. Mpofu want? I asked the questions here, Mr. Koran. You are just a witness. So just chill and wait for the question, okay? I'm saying to you, uh, if you ask, if you make statements that you cannot back up in under oath, you might be exposing yourself to the crime of perjury, yes or no? As far as I'm concerned, there is enough evidence around therefore there's no issue of perjury. Thank you. <laughs> okay, I won't go back. I think the, care, the chair explained this to you um, many yes. times. Yes, um, it's, it's, yeah, it was a general proposition, but yes. I think you can move on. I will, chair. Mm. I'll, I'll, I'll give up on that answer. You have no evidence uh, direct or indirect, that Mr. Moyane was part of state capture? No, I do. You do? Good. Yes. Um, do you have evidence that uh, President Zuma was part of state capture or corruption? That's not a relevant matter here. Answer the question. It's not for you to talk about relevance. Answer the question. You are just a witness. Do you have any evidence that... Do you have any... Listen. You have uh, to answer the and, question. And, I can't and, be doing this. And, Otherwise, we're not going and, to finish today. Thank you, please. No, that's so fine. You look at the Mr. Godan, please. Finish. Hello? Just, finish, just. Uh, okay, no, then if then you then. can just answer my question, I don't want your... Uh, I'm answering your question. Uh, uh, no, the question uh, is uh, either you agree uh, with... Not just the South African do you agree that yeah, it's yeah, corruption yeah. or fraud or on crimes like that, yes or no? I think, Chairperson, it might yes. be very useful if Mr. Mpofu wants yes or no answers, then he must ask one question at a time. 
Um, that's yeah. one question. Do you agree the with that, whether that is I, crimes I, I, like I, corruption I, and okay. fraud? Hang on, Mr. Mbofu. Let, let, let him finish. I don't think he's going to take long to finish what he was saying. I think he's going that. to take long. Yes. To. Don't, uh, okay. You, you have no evidence that Mr. Moyane was part of state corruption. You said you do have. Uh, wh what is that evidence? Uh, you might want to look at the uh, report of the commission chaired by uh, Judge Nugent. No. If I were you, I would stay away from the commission chaired by Judge Nugent. I'm saying before you the commission... You are not me. You are not me uh, you... Yes, I'm not you. Thank God. I'm asking you a very simple question. It's either you do or you don't have evidence. I'm not talking about rumors or, or what people say in some uh, corridors. Do you, Pravin Godan, have any evidence of Mr. Moyane working with the Hawks every day? Yes or no? I think you should leave out some of your preambles with respect, Advocate, but the answer the question that you are asking is what the chair just asked and which I answered. Well, can you answer it again? Do you, Pravin Kodan, have any evidence that Mr. Moyane was meeting with the Hawks every day? I'm asking this for the fourth time. Let me, let me then repeat may, for your benefit, because you seem to be hard of hearing at this may, point. May, maybe before you repeat, uh, Mr. Kodan. Mr. Kodan, you don't have to insult okay. me about being hard of okay. hearing. Okay. Your job is to answer yeah. questions here. Yeah. Mr. Okay? Mr. Kodan. I'm not going to take that nonsense before you, from you. Before you. You have no right to say I'm hard of hearing, okay? I'm not uh, your child or your picnic, so you must not uh, treat me like that. I'm not one of those Africans that you can undermine. So I'm telling you, you, yeah, I don't, don't, don't even think about it, okay? Uh, I'm a different kind of person. Yeah.